what's going on everybody Quaku here back with another video today i finally am showing you guys a new build of windows 11 on the dev channel it's been a while since i've done this we're finally up to the 225 series of builds and with it is a number of new things um one thing that especially is included as a new your phone's design or your phone experience for the your phone app and i'll show you that in just a second you see it down there already uh another thing that was also not released with this build but was released yesterday prior to the build coming out as a recording um, was actually a new media player application so i'm not sure i think it's supposed to replace groove pretty much as well as the embedded windows media player which also exists already still inside windows 11. so i'll take a look at those things more in depth in separate videos but i will show you guys how they look like briefly in this one as well so stay tuned for all of that let's jump into it so right now looking at the build notes right here the patch notes uh it says they expanded the themes for the touch keyboard with new input experiences or including imes um and the emoji panel voice typing and things like that uh, it says we have also right here it says we have also added the ability to for personalized combinations of emoji based face and skin tones of family members uh with the heart kissing and people holding hands both experiences are starting to roll out with this build so basically if i press windows key dot right there or actually you know what windows key v uh since i'm recording it looks like it doesn't want me to do that um what you can do here is if you go here uh you can tell obviously this is this was me kind of playing around to look for what my recent ones were so let's say if i type in uh kissing like this uh, they have a picture actually down below, actually right here. So if I type in kissing, Windows key V, and then I go to the emoji panel right there, uh, you can kind of go to the people really, and you can see the different skin tones, how they are right now, but apparently they'll come up with a new way. Uh, basically when you just start searching for something, say kissing, I'm not sure which one, I think it's more family based. Uh, it will show up a more bigger context that shows you like, do you want to change your skin color to whatever tone that your skin is? And that's basically what that is in a nutshell. Um, another thing too, it says that there's going to be no build next week due to Thanksgiving holiday. So people are taking days off. That's all good in my opinion. Less work for me. Uh, another thing too here, it says changes and improvements. Uh, to further customize the Windows text input experience, they expanded the themes for the touch keyboard to apply to other input experience, including IMEs, emoji panel, voice typing. So you can go to settings, personalization, take note, go here if you have activated Windows. I still have not, just saying. I will activate it probably by the end of the year, finally, uh, when the computer is complete. But this is essentially what it will look like. Let me go full screen. Uh, so you can change up different ways you interact with Windows. I'm not sure, I, I would love to know which one of you guys uh, has a tablet PC, like a PC with a touchscreen that actually makes the keyboard this small because I personally have never seen anybody interact with Windows on a tablet with the screen this small unless it was like Windows Phone. So let me know that. Other than that, let's go back into the build. Uh, this is an example of what they're talking about, personalized combinations of emoji skin. So if you type in family and you click that, you see that extra area right there that I was talking about. Um, it's a little different from what I showed you before. And then it also says here, you can now use the win key alt K on the keyboard to toggle a new mute icon for the microphone uh, when it's showing. I tried to do that and I'll do it right now. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so I have no idea what's going on. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, it says as se setting system in Windows 11 or in sound, Windows 11 shows a warning when the microphone access has been restricted in your privacy settings. They're removing the notification alert to a note uh, to alert you about it um, and then they added support for the cancellation of daylight savings for the republic of fiji in 2021 some accessibility things too and i'll get back to that in just a second just to finalize here for the changes uh, it says apps will now launch maximized by default in the tablet posture on small devices basically 11 inch diagonal and under so if you have if you're one of the rare people who has a uh, windows tablet type device uh or a Windows tablet type device with a touch screen that's under 11 inches, 11 and under. Uh, apps will now launch by a default when in the tablet posture. It was just no. Uh, so yeah, but going back here, it says here, we're making changes going forward with the new installs on the touch indicator option uh, to now be turned off by default. You can go here um, to basically get there. As part of the change, they added a link in the settings page 
to uh, make it easy to press and hold for visual cues and things like that. So I'm going to skip all the fixes because there's always going to be fixes. Um, this is one I just noticed that stood out to me. Selecting snap layout options should no longer randomly put windows uh, on your other monitor sometimes. I don't have any other monitor, but this giant 49 inch, so doesn't appear to me. Now, going down here all the way to the bottom, skipping all of that, I know you guys are like, why aren't you covering it? This is what I wanted to show you. The new Your Phone look starts its rollout. The Your Phone has been updated with the design that puts notifications at center. Tell me how you feel about it. Um, in this new view, you will always have access to your messages, calls, and photos with the added benefit to stay on top of messages and other notifications efficiently with this glanceable view. And then it obviously adopts the Mica and Fluent Design style of Windows 11 to keep everything kind of cohesive. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. Now, let's go into your phone and check out what's going on. So this is the new Your Phone experience. You can tell it just looks so much more smooth and clean looking. Uh, this is the light theme for it. It does have a dark theme if I click settings here uh, and then I go to my devices or where is it? It's under personalization and then you can go here to theme, dark theme, just to avert my eyes and make them much more calm for me. Uh, now, going to apps here, you see you have your usual apps and things and if you click on an app, let's say I click on Airbnb. If I click on Airbnb, you heard my phone go off. It's going to tell me to unlock my phone, so I'll do that. Now, let's see how it opens up. Okay, Airbnb is opening up just like that. So this is, I haven't logged into Airbnb. I just got this phone, um, but Airbnb is working just like normal, how it would be on my phone. I can use my keyboard to type places up. I can say I want to go to Ocean City and I can go into it. You know how your phone works if you've seen your phone and used it before. Uh, closing out though, closing out of that, if I click this right here, it actually starts to mirror my phone. So if I click that right there and let's say I want to mirror my phone, click that, boom. You hear my phone doing its thing. And because it is a Z Fold device, if I open up the screen, you guys can't see me opening it up, but if I open up my screen to the tablet posture, boom, you can see that your phone reacts to that. And if I close it up just like that, it wants me to put my fingerprint in, boom, it still works just like that, just the same. If I swipe over, I can go over. If I want to go to Coin Market Cap, if you are into crypto, I can do the same thing. Uh, I can close just like that and basically everything is working just like normal. I can go over to the Google experience on the Z Fold 3 and all that stuff. Play Store even. I can browse just like normal. So yeah, that that is essentially mirroring. But overall, you know, your phone has been evolved. You can now uh, see view contacts. I'm not going to show that just because I have a lot of contacts. Uh, and then you can also place calls as well. So this is a new experience as we need your permission to display recent calls. I'm not going to show that as well. Just a lot of things I just can't show for privacy reasons. But over here, so if I type in on the dial pad, um, I can simply just hit like say 1-800, what is that phone number? 829-1954. And it pulls it from my contacts that this is IRS refund for the US. Everybody has this phone number. It's on their website. Um, up here, I would type in, but it will show people's names and contact phone numbers and things like that. So I won't show it. Um, but essentially, in a nutshell, your phone has been updated to look pretty crispy. It looks good. And apparently, too, another cool thing with it is that it actually takes uh, cues from it looks like it's bugged out over here, honestly. OK, there you go. It takes cues from your background picture on your phone. So. What I do is if I change my background picture, let me see, looks like it hasn't updated. Maybe you have to probably give it a couple minutes or close the application and come back in for it to update this background here. But essentially what it is, is it pulls from your background uh, to show you a wallpaper behind the application uh, on the background layer so that the foreground layer is opaque so you can actually see the text and read everything. So essentially that in a nutshell, is the new build of Windows 11. There was one more thing that I wanted to show you guys, and that is actually uh, the new media player right there. And this is the new media player right there. And you can see that I was doing some showcasing footage of my Halo Infinite coverage there. Uh, so if I hit play, you can see that it, it does work pretty well. It looks good. It's, it, it's nice and updated. You got your closed full screen. You got your mini player right there. The mini player, let's see if it can resize. 
Okay, the mini player can barely resize, but I guess it doesn't really matter with this type of video. So if I hit play right there, I can just do this. I can view my your phone stuff, browse my phone uh, while watching my little footage in the corner of the screen. Or if you have a giant monitor like I do, it'll be a lot bigger. There's just a lot of cool functionality finally coming to Windows and things are getting more cohesive. However, we do, do still have uh, the Windows Media Player. So let me see right there. We, we do still have Windows Media Player. Uh, and then let me see, do we have Groove Music? Okay, Groove is gone officially in place of this. It actually updates when you open up the Microsoft Store. But we do still have Windows Media Player, unfortunately, as well as uh, the new Media Player application itself. So if you like Windows Media Player, it is there. Uh, I don't know how long still. And then we also have the new Media Player. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. My name is Kwaku and... Uh, Join me tomorrow. There's going to be a few things that I'll be covering tomorrow, next week, and there's a lot of stuff coming out on the Microsoft side of things. So stay tuned and take care.